we, we have switched channels. How do you feel about this? It's intense, bro. What is that? The car? Yeah. What happened? Oh, like, you have everything on. Okay, what are we doing right now? Taking out pieces, bro. Taking out pieces. What are you just do? Got all pieces. Oh shit, off of that one. That dead boy. Yeah, brother. So what are we doing right now? We're gonna, we're gonna go drive the GC. What's that? Oh my god, it's man all that. It's kind of fat. <laughs> With their car being unfortunately stolen and everything not really lining up and we I think we we're kind of coming to the conclusion that it's gone. How do you feel about this whole situation? I mean, at this point I'm I'm just kinda of feeling numb about it, you know. I mean I I never really thought it'd be stolen. I was definitely, you know, shed a couple of tears when I walked back from class and it was gone. But uh, you know, now I'm just kinda of numb to it. I'm like I I'm holding out hope it'll be recovered, but I'm still kind of, I'm at the point of, you know, being willing to give it up. Obviously, we created one of the best memories you'll see in the video, and it brought a lot of people together. It brought something super unique to your own life that most people can't just, like, wake up and buy. 
if you could change something, what would you change? This whole journey. I mean, I would have chose. I would have changed it not being stolen. But <laughs> besides <laughs> that, um, I don't think I would have changed anything. I mean, I le- learned a lot in the process of the, the struggle of what you know, building a car from scratch and kind of reviving it into what you want it to be can be like just that. I guess that experience. But yeah, I don't think there's anything I would really change. 